Well, mavicamptin is a small molecule that modulates or regulates a component of the sarcomere. The sarcomere is the fundamental unit of contraction and it's composed of many proteins. Mavicamptin directly binds to myosin, which is the motor of the sarcomere. And what it does is it alters motor function in a very beneficial way that will reduce contractility a small amount, but substantially improve the relaxation of the motor. And the reason that's so important is that hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a disease of the sarcomere, and it's characterized, or its defect, is because it expresses too much contractility and too little relaxation. And as a consequence, the heart expends way too much energy with every beat of the heart. So by modulating the motor protein in a hypertrophic heart, you can reduce contractility, improve relaxation, and minimize the excessive expenditure of energy. And that turns out to be very, very good for long-term improvement in heart function. So Mavicamptin has been known in the research laboratory as MYK461. And there's been extensive preclinical studies of this molecule that have demonstrated its capacity to bind myosin, to regulate conformational states, particularly to improve those in relaxation. In addition to basic fundamental biochemistry, it's been given to mice, it's been given to cats, and it's been given to pigs. And in each of those uh, preclinical models, it is shown that it can reduce the function that is abnormal in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. I failed to mention that those models have been designed to carry human mutations that cause hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So they really recapitulate the human disease in many, many different ways. And by treating these animals, we gain insights not only in terms of the further molecular signals that it changes, but also on whether it will work in our clinical patients. And all of the results to date have been quite positive. So Myocardia, the company that manufactures Mavicamptin, has done several pre early uh, clinical phase trials that have shown safety, and that is obviously a very important um, first step in terms of a molecule that has never before been used in terms of human patients. It has had no significant adverse effects associated with giving the compound to healthy individuals. More recently, it's been given to a small cohort of individuals who have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, in particular with obstruction. And that means that there's an impairment of the outflow of blood from the heart into the great vessels. That's a very common manifestation of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And in those early trials, it's been shown that it will reduce that outflow tract obstruction open up the heart so that contractility is no longer impaired and relaxation is enormously improved. We've been very impressed with that and to that end, because so many patients had improvement of their symptoms, they wanted to continue the medication after the trial. And so that trial was extended with an open label extension period. And again, a prolonged exposure to the medication continued to same, this show the same beneficial effects. Certainly. So the Maverick study is going to address whether modulating myosin to correct the defects found in patients with non-obstructive cardiomyopathy will also benefit from, uh, will also show benefit. Um, it's designed to really target those patients who don't have outflow tract obstruction, but still have hypertrophy and have poor relaxation of the myocardium. Again, we know that the genetic substrate, meaning a myosin or a myosin binding protein C mutation, is basically the cause of non-obstructive as well as obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And so we anticipate 
that we should equally show effort, have efficacy in treating this different flavor of the same clinical disease.